Twitch is no stranger to controversy and bad decisions. In fact, when you think of Twitch, you often think of horrible choices they've made. They just go together like spaghetti and meatballs. But yesterday all hell broke loose. Sin flooded the platform. An event occurred that was so big that it forced Twitch's hand to take action, and it led to yet another embarrassingly goofy display from the platform, and they're beginning to reach levels of silliness we only thought possible in fantasy movies. I'll break it down though, I'm sure you've already heard by now. Yesterday, it was just an innocent Thursday afternoon, you know, we're all doing our best to praise the Lord in our own special way, and then a streamer went live and had sex on Twitch. And that's not super unusual. If you scroll down far enough in the just chatting category, you can always find porn. So that's not exactly triggering the DEF CON alert system or anything, you know, just a pretty fucking ordinary day on Twitch. However, when Twitch banned the user, they only banned them for seven days. On TikTok. So I joined in her TikTok live. Then I ask her the million dollar question. I know why, but like, how long are you banned for? Um, seven days. Seven days. Now why is this situation such a big deal? She broadcast her visit to Dr. Dick and Balls and got banned for it. The problem is how long she was banned for. Seven days. You see, Twitch is very inconsistent with its enforcement of the rules. Sometimes it'll ban a streamer for a month because of one really small issue or even no issue at all, like a misunderstanding. Sometimes it'll permanently ban streamers over fucking nothing. They don't enforce their rules equally across the platform, similar to what YouTube was just called out for by Corey Kinshin. Twitch, for a long time, has always been really inconsistent with its enforcement of their rules. And what you just saw there was a YouTuber named Gideon, massive YouTuber, and he used to be a Twitch streamer until he got banned eight months ago. Eight months ago, Gideon was streaming and told his viewers to go to Pokimane's chat and spam L plus ratio, and he was permanently removed from the platform, calling it a hate brigade. And it's been eight months now, Gideon's apologized, him and Pokimane are on good terms as I understand it, but he is still gone. Yet, this girl orders a hot dog extra wiener on stream and only receives a seven day suspension. It, it's just, makes no sense how the biggest possible rule could be broken, and yet they only receive a minimal suspension, whereas one singular case of bad behavior from Gideon doing the, uh, the, the raid on Pokimane is apparently so heinous that it's worthy of a lifetime ban. It, it just, the punishments don't fit the crime. Clearly the rules are not being enforced the same way. And in Gideon's video, he brings up a lot of other examples of Twitch either playing favorites or just coming up with the most inexplicably stupid decisions for their bans. And one of them he brings up is one that I've talked about quite a bit. It's the infamous case of a streamer going live and then spreading her butthole and pussy at the camera. She, she goes live and then just puts her ass right at the camera and just fully goat sees her chamber of secrets and has the pussy flaps all visible and everything. And just does that for like, what, 15, 20 seconds, something like that, and then goes offline. Claimed it was a mistake thinking she was on a different platform. She only received a three-day ban. Hopefully you can understand why people are questioning these decisions and scratching their head wondering what the fuck is going on. And you can probably also understand why Gideon, as well as other streamers who have been banned in the past, are rightfully upset. Gideon broke a rule. You would have expected him to get a suspension of maybe like seven days or something. You know, he harassed another streamer, that's a violation, so he gets a seven-day suspension, and that probably should have been the end of it. But instead, he got permanently banned, and they've stood beside it for eight months. So he's been banned forever because of being mean to another streamer. Meanwhile, this lady just broke the biggest possible rule on the platform and only received seven days. Like, this, this doesn't add up. Th these aren't making sense. I want to, myself, and shoot people at Twitch HQ, right? They extend her ban, obviously, to a perma. She wrote an apology letter to Twitch, and this is Twitch's response. After reviewing your case, we confirm that the correct enforcement was issued. However, given the details of your case, including the remorse expressed in your appeal, we have decided to reduce your suspension duration. This is another strong example Gideon gives of the questionable policy enforcement from Twitch. 
This comes from a streamer named Narcissa Wright, and if you're familiar with that streamer, you know the whole story surrounding her and her mental health. And it's overall a very sad situation, but I think this case is a very important one to talk about in regards to Twitch and their policy enforcement. This streamer made a public threat to hurt themselves as well as shoot up the Twitch headquarters in response to a temporary ban they had received. After making that public threat, they received a permanent ban. And after making an apology to Twitch, she then got the duration reduced to 22 days. Well, why was her apology accepted and reducing her suspension time, whereas Gideon's apology didn't do shit, they just wiped their ass with it? Like, it's not making sense. Gideon's offense was much less severe than fucking on camera, getting your fucking back blown out, and also making terrorist threats about shooting up the goddamn company. Like, his is so trivial in comparison to all of those things, and yet his is the most severe uh, punishment so far. And he's not alone. There's other streamers that have received permanent bans or extremely lengthy bans over small things. One that I've cited a lot is Forsen's ban a couple years ago, where Forsen accidentally flashed an inappropriate picture on stream and received a full month ban for a, a very genuine mistake and only was there for like a single fucking pixel. It was like a second, but still. He received a much harsher sentence than someone actually having sex on stream. It's just ridiculous. There's no consistency to their rule enforcement, and the duration of their bans make absolutely no sense. I also don't understand the argument that a lot of you are going to make about how Twitch makes more money off a girl having sex than just like a normal streamer like Jideon. That's just blatantly wrong. She was not a big streamer. The girl that just recently got fucked on cam was not a big streamer by any means. I think she had like fucking 10 or 15 viewers at the time it happened. I don't even know who reported her, to be honest. I, I imagined at that point it's just friends and family watching. So I, I don't even know how the fuck it even became like a big enough deal that Twitch stepped in. A lot of this shit just flies under the radar on the, on the, the site. But anyway, she wasn't a huge streamer. She wasn't making Twitch tons and tons of money or anything like that. And she's not, like, a big figure outside of Twitch either. You know, she has, like, uh, 800 followers on Twitter. I don't know what she's got on TikTok or anything. But she is not, like, this huge money-making machine for Twitch. So then why are they doing everything to defend her? Like, stepping in front of the bullets and everything for her. A seven-day ban is nothing. That's not even a slap on the wrist. That's barely even a light tap on the bottom. You know, that's like a very, like, playful slap on the keister, if anything. Like, that's nothing. It's almost encouraging her to continue to do this because it helps inflate her, like, OnlyFans numbers or something. Why are they being so lenient on their rules for people that just exploit their platform, but then they'll go, they'll feel totally fine to fuck people in the face like Gideon, Forsen, and a ton of other big streamers I can name. Those are, like, the people that are actually making Twitch money. They're big streamers, they have a big following, and yet they're the ones that are scrutinized the heaviest by the platform, whereas the ones who are just having sex on it aren't even getting punished, really. Like, it doesn't make sense. It has nothing to do with money, clearly. Because if it did, then they'd be doing everything possible to protect the bigger streamers, and they'd be a lot stricter on people like this girl who had sex. But it's the opposite. They're doing everything possible to be lenient with the girl having sex while hurting the bigger streamers when they do even the slightest infraction. Very, very shitty situation all around. Just a totally fucked situation. Uh, I wanted to talk about it a little bit because I don't understand where, where Twitch is coming from here at all. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.